What is up? What is up? What is up, family? This is your girl Stephanie, aka Edini Hastu Sapukba. And we are here to get that Dow message that I promised you from the last video. One moment, please. Alright, fam. We baggity back. And blackity black. Baggity back. Oh, blackity black. waiting see this beautiful divine blackity black mother earth energy perseverance period and that came out in the, the other read as well taking care of essentials leave well enough alone back to that last message we ain't got to react to them, these people. We ain't got to leave well enough alone. They are digging their own ditch, okay? Restraint. Restraint. Exercise restraint. And we got reproach, approach on the other end. Prosperous conditions. If you wait, you will be it'll help you to advance to prosperous conditions to warm receptions for from the people who admire you who may have seen you go through that attack with the grace of a uh in adept a master you went through that attack masterfully a lightening up hopefulness you gave your the way you went through that attack this is going to give other people hope exercise your strength divine timing is at hand don't fuck it up by stooping to their level go in, into the heart center and ask to experience stillness and repeat the mantra I am peace I am peace I am peace I am peace you see how my I don't know if you noticed that my shoulders went down they were when the shoulders are up or maybe a little anxious I am peace I am peace Dispersion. If you look at the yin yang sign on the top, it's blue. Kind of like my shirt, which gives me the water energy. It says diffuse negativity, restore harmony, circulate. Revitalize, dissolve divisions, lighten up. Dispersion. The time of dispersion is a subtle but potent influence that works towards wholeness. Ties in the other reading because we had that we are one card, but we also have this subtle potent energy with the white willow. They may think the wood of the willow is weak, but allow them to keep their delusions. It has the capacity to melt, scatter, or dislodge whatever obstacles and rigidities have been hindering unity. We are one, like the quaking aspen card that came in the last reading. So you won't be like, what is she talking about? It's from the last reading, it's a herb. 
Um, when communication breaks down between people, their relationships suffer. In the same way, there can be a communication breakdown within the self. When we have compartmentalized and denied our own feelings or thoughts, withdrawal, withdrawal and alienation are the result. Whether the symptoms manifest within ourselves, in our work, or in our relationships with others, in the most profound sense, the opportunity presented by a time of dispersion is to reunite us with spirit, reawakening our capacity and experience, reawakening our capacity to experience wonder and, in, and igniting our desire to express the inexpressible. Dissolving any rigidity that has been in place for some time will require a lot of patience and tact. These people may be coming at you with their rigid rigidity. It's going to take patience and tact to dissolve that. That feminine energy of trust, receptivity. The way of water. Just flow. Flow through those rocks. Find that center. Ask to experience stillness and repeat the mantra I am peace. I am peace. I am peace. Patience intact. It makes little difference whether the symptoms lie within your own thinking or have been generated by external circumstances. The effect is the same. You have to become cut off from your own natural flow. And as a result, it says you have become cut off from your own natural flow. Be like water, right? You've cut off from your own natural flow and as a result, disharmony has grown in your relationship to your work, your partner, your own nature. You stop being your true and authentic self and start living up to other people's expectations for you or what society says you have to do with the Hierophant card that was in the last read. Becoming aware that there are snags in the communication flow is the first step toward restoring that lost harmony. You must also have a sincere willingness to persevere toward reconciliation, however long it takes. Be aware that the process of dissolving rigidity benefits from warmth, not a blowtorch. <laughs> No matter how intolerable the, the situation may have become, applying too much pressure will have the opposite effect from what you desire and will only provoke defensiveness and resistance. Your first task is to back away from the tangle to gain some perspective on what it will take to untie the knots. So back away, just back away from it and see things from a different perspective. If you find yourself in a pattern of reacting and placing blame, immediately pull the plug on it. Returning to openness and trust means being strong enough to withdraw from anything that perpetuates the status quo. Indulging in temper tantrums and threats will only make things worse. So then if anybody throws a temper tantrum or try to threaten you, don't 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 engage. And don't you throw no temper tantrum and throw around threats. Because this is only gonna just gonna make things worse. Real strength is possible only when we trust that unity can be restored through gentleness. The strength card in reverse was in that last reading too. Maybe you're not trusting that unity can be restored through gentleness. Regain that. Tap back into that belief. 
trust that unity can be restored through gentleness. That's the white willow that was in the last reading. A sincere attempt to understand the other's feelings, or your own for that matter, can disperse all kinds of emotional log jams and melt the hardest heart. A sincere attempt to understand. A sincere attempt to understand the other's feelings or your own. A sincere attempt to understand the other's feelings or your own for that matter can disperse all kinds of emotional log jams and melt the hardest heart. Once you've found your sincere intention and devotion to the task within, the receptivity card of the Tao that I pulled a couple days ago spoke about devotion as well, being devoted. So your sincere intention and devotion to the task within can express and can express it through a relaxed and sympathetic outer demeanor it can be surprising how easily negative attitudes and behaviors melt away. It is pointless to attempt reunification while any of the parties are still suffering from emotional chaos. It's a little like trying to hit a bull's eye from the other side of a busy freeway, blindfolded. <laughs> you can stand there forever shooting arrows and never get even close to the mark. But this is the kind of childish nonsense that the ego often proposes when it is scrambling to appear on top of the situation and save face. Forget the face and allow yourself to simply be equal to the situation rather than on top of it. All right, since the best time to overcome any tendencies toward division and separation is right at the beginning when they first appear. Luckily, your vision is clearing just in time. Without too much effort and with a sincere intention to restore balance, you can gently stir the course of events toward harmony rather than discord. The other reading was just was a warning, you know, that this is coming. So now you can overcome any tendencies toward division because this you have been warned so this you'll be right at the beginning when it first appears you can apply this knowledge right it says once it has become obvious that the atmosphere is polluted the first thing to do is to let in some fresh air in human terms that fresh air is innocence and the best place to look for it is within yourself Every division that we experience starts first within a single individual. And every reunification can start there too. Look to yourself for any attitudes you might be harboring that actually contribute to suspicion, alienation, and discord and let them go. And let them go. What it says here, trust that Unity can be restored through gentleness. Real strength is possible only when we trust that unity can be restored through gentleness. Some of you may, I know I'm saying in my head, I've, I've tried to be gentle. And there still wasn't a unity. There was a, a backstab and someone felt like, oh, oh, she's weak and I can overcome her or I can, you know, take advantage of her. So you may be like, you've lost your trust in that. But you've grown, you've matured, and maybe you can try it again from this place of wisdom try it again I'm telling myself that as well 
into the, the space of stillness, into your heart, as to experience stillness. Repeat the mantra, I am peace. Clear your mind so that the way can be cleared. You're gonna get the downloads that you need. You're gonna get the downloads that you need for your specific situation. It says, now may be a good time to experiment with putting your own agenda to one side and taking a fresh look at what's best for the overall milieu. I don't know what that is. M-I-L-I-E-U. Milieu? Milieu? I don't know. In which you work and live. Put your own agenda to, the, to one side and take a fresh look at what's best for the overall in which you work and live. This might seem like a call to altruism, but in fact, it's not. You will be the first to benefit from any selfless efforts you might make to bring people together. So that kind of answers what I was just saying. It's like you may feel like you are martyring yourself and putting yourself on the line or, you know, not being true to yourself. But when you make a selfless effort to bring people together, you will be the first to benefit from it. I said sometimes people get so fixed into an us and them attitude that even the most casual conversation turns into a, a tennis match. If you can see that this is what is happening now, chances are you're the best person to call off the game and remind everybody what good sportsmanship is all about. It might not be through direct confrontation, but more likely through an act of persuading all the players to join a new game that everybody can appreciate and support. It says if you're completely at a loss as to what to do about an inner or outer war of competing factions, it might be time to retreat to the mountaintop where the air is fresh and where you can clear your head. When you come back down, your readiness to embrace a new reality is likely to be contagious. And last but not least, it says, it is not always wise to stride into the middle of a street brawl and try to break it up. Have a close look at whether the participants are armed and dangerous before you attempt the thing. If they are, the better part of wisdom might be to withdraw from this sweet scene and persuade all bystanders to do the same. All right. And so that also spoke to what I was saying about, you know, trying to be that gentle energy. Sometimes you just got to observe this person or they armed and dangerous. And it doesn't necessarily have to be physically. That could be spiritually or emotionally. So don't beat yourself up for withdrawing from certain situations when you see that this person is not, you know, on a frequency of peace. Do what you can to restore unity, but if people continue to buck against it and try to use things against you, then you may need to just withdraw from the scene and encourage other people to do the same. Con encourage innocent bystanders not to get involved. That's between them too. It's too dangerous to involve your energy. So, you know, here's a di these, the last part was like different ways of looking at a situation or whatever. But, Again, the only thing you can control is yourself. And 
So find again, go into your heart as to experience stillness and repeat the mantra, I am peace. I am peace. I am peace. You don't have to react. Seek to find, maybe seek to find an understanding. Put your um, own agenda to one side and take a fresh look at things. Seek to where it is. What is it? What was it in the um the main part? And remember this, okay, too, in regards to what I was saying about, you know, applying gentleness and receiving, you know, a slap in the face because the person just goes back to doing the same shit. You know, if they're armed and dangerous, like I said, it's pointless to attempt reunification while any of the parties are still suffering from emotional chaos. If you see that they are still suffering from emotional chaos, you know, don't lay yourself out on, don't martyr yourself for that. It's, it's pointless. You're not going to get what you need. You're not going to, there's no, there's no, there's not going to be any fostering of unification. You just return to stillness and trust from within. <laughs> that your own unity within they may be trying to tear up your unity with, you know, within by putting this doubt or, you know, this BS onto you. But you can restore your unity within yourself through gentleness. You know, trust in yourself. Continue to trust in self. You know, sometimes this book do be making me feel guilty for, like, you know, cutting people off. But when you look at it from because I hadn't used this book in a long time I this is the first time I well the last time it's the first time I picked it up in a very long time so I'm, I have a deeper understanding of course because I've grown over the the years so I'm finding out how to look at things from not a dualistic point of view but from a polarized point of view but s truly seek to understand their emotions and sometimes, and if you can't understand it, if they can't fully explain it themselves, they're still suffering from some kind of emotional chaos. And they're just trying to cause some confusion. They may not even be opening up about what the real reason behind things. And once you figure that out, you just gotta let it go. Release it and let it go and restore harmony within yourself because it's pointless to try to do so when they're still suffering from emotional chaos that they do not want to admit to, you know? It's like shooting arrows, forever shooting arrows and never getting close to the mark. <laughs> Trying to hit a bullseye from the other side of the freeway, blindfolded. That's, you know, childish nonsense that your ego proposes, <laughs> you know, you to do. trying to save face, forget face and allow yourself to be equal to the situation rather on top of it. Allow them to have their delusions, you know, like the Willow said. I don't know where I read that, that little one part.
but I think it will help us, you know, in this, when people are trying to attack us, to, you know, ask the right questions, to really get to the core of the matter. have the willingness, a sincere willingness to persevere. No, that's not what I wanted to say. Let me pause this. How about Here it goes. It says a sincere attempt to understand the other's feelings or your own for that matter can disperse all kinds of emo emotional log jams. I think it'll be really um, helpful for us to put a sense, you know, to give it a sincere attempt to understand the other person's feelings. Like, let's really try to dig, ask the questions to help them to maybe see what they're doing on a dip, deeper level. Because a lot of these people may be operating from a state of possession. You know, there could be an entity on them and they you know, just can't seem to see why they're in their own head. So your questions kind of reveal how you think and it, it may be that exorcism that they need as you sit there in your calm stillness, in your meditative state, asking to, asking to experience stillness so that you can clear your mind so the way can be clear that powerful energy, that flowing energy. Like I said, it's more potent. That subtle energy is more potent than you think. It can melt any rigid heart, right? And if things just get too crazy, disengage, walk away. I don't know, like, uh, we shall see, we shall see. Um, so I think I'm gonna end this video here. And I did want to get, um, an Egyptian card as well. So yeah, we'll do that. All right, family, I love you all. And until next time, peace.